In today's episode, we're going to be covering a thing I made up a long time ago called the deck feasibility. It's whether or not the deck you've built can be and will be successful. Instead of wasting your time, this is a surefire way to build your deck to perfection regardless of what it is. This is easily broken down into four steps and we're going to cover them thoroughly and give you examples of how they work. Hopefully, you guys will be able to utilize this to your advantage and build decks that you normally would not have been able to build. In the description bar below, we will give you the entire step-by-step -step procedure, but you can listen to us and we'll explain exactly how each step works. Step one, identify your deck strategy. Do you want to get out Xi'an? Do you want to get out Deep Sea King Kalolakan? Do you want to be able to Infernity Launch a whole slew load of times in order to get three barriers in the back row? This is your strategy. This is the main thing you try and accomplish every single game. Identify your deck's objective. How are you going to win? How is that one play that you're trying to do going to get you the game? Is Deep Sea King Kalolakan pitching one card going to make a huge deal? Or is Xi'an really going to make much of a difference by only being able to stop one card? How are you going to objectively use this to your advantage to possibly get you the game? What is the competitive advantage of your deck? What is the strength of your deck? When it comes to fish and samurais, it's swarming the field. When it comes to X sabers, it's popping back rows and still remaining with field presence. When it comes to gladiator beasts, it's all about defense. What does your deck do really well that makes it so strong? Step two, identify the competition. What are the other decks that are being played? Are you gonna be facing off against a huge slew of Gravekeepers in a YCS where most of it is all of top 32? Or are you gonna play random decks at your locals that really nobody cares about? Every single event is different and you have to realize that. You have to identify your threats. What are your bad matchups? When it comes to Gravekeepers, your bad matchup, six Samurais. They don't play a lot of monsters, which means your Royal Tribute, which is your big trump card, doesn't really work all that well. So, how are you going to combat that? Identify internal threats. What are the problems with your deck? Are there a lot of cards that don't work well together that you possibly could draw a handful of? And how often do you think that's going to happen? Draw a couple of test hands. You'll figure it out. Identify opportunities. When you know what your opponent is playing, how can you use their own cards against them? When their opponent is playing cards that technically work really well to proving your advantage, use it against them. Step three, expand on major issues. This is where you have to do a little bit of test work. You're going to have to be able to play against a whole bunch of decks. Bring it to a local tournament. Find out what its pluses are and find out where its disadvantages are. In a lot of cases, you'll find it with a lot of decks. The cards weren't play tested, therefore you didn't realize how unbroken the card is. From all your research, what is the problem? What makes your deck not work so well? Is there way too many monsters? Is there way too many traps? Is there way too many magic cards that don't do enough? That's the biggest problem. A lot of people don't understand and they try to do too much. The final step, potential solutions. Where can you fix the problems? What cards that can you add or take away will help you either increase the quality of your deck or the consistency? What can you do to fix all the things that are wrong with it? Or is it unfixable and honestly cut your losses and continue with your next idea. Once all this has been done, start over again until you're completely happy with the final result.